Hey there, it's your girl Lakeisha Hankins from LakeishaHankins.com. I am super excited to be able to come and share this information with you today. I was just talking to um, a friend or whatever, and we were talking about, you know, successful entrepreneurs and other business owners. And my, you know, my question was, you know, what do they all have in common? You know, they don't have something more than you that you don't you know it's not necessarily about their experience it's not their extraordinary skills it's not even their drive for success you know and although those things are great and definitely uh added benefit or asset when it comes to growing your business they are not a requirement for success you know after all no one is born with experience or skills and plenty of successful people that I know actually even lack drive, right? So the one thing that makes a difference, though, is your why. Your why is what, you know, helps you to really become successful. It's not about the money when it all boils down to it. Whenever you decide to become a, you know, small business owner, you know, and if you're struggling to make sales within your business or tr attract clients or customers, it's because, you know, when you're focused on the money and what it really needs to be is your why. And you need to make sure that that is authentic because a lot of times I'll see people say, you know, um, it's their why that drives them to do what it is that they're, that they're doing. But at the end of the day, what they're really doing is chasing money, right? You And the further you, ch if you chase money, you know what happens, you push it away. You know, if you're chasing something, what does it do? It runs. You know, if you were chasing someone down the street or a dog was chasing you down the street, what happens? You It runs, right? So if you're chasing money, it's going to actually push it further away. So the reason, you know, you're going to be successful in your business is because of your why. So just really just think about why do you spend so many hours in front of your computer each week? Why are you on, you know, Google, um, you're doing all these um, webinars, putting out massive content full of value. Why is it that you stay up so late that you get up so early just so you can get up and get, you know, to working on and growing your business? The why is ultimately what drives you to success. But here's the thing. It's personal. It's different for each and every one of us. Your why is not my why. And, you know, as much as your coach or um, your mentor can want you to be successful, you have to want it. You have to know what it is, what your why is. It's deeply and it's a personal choice, right, that can have a great meaning or not. You know, it doesn't have to necessarily be that deep. For example, you know, being a mom of small children, you may be sick and tired of the thought of sending your kids to daycare just so that you can go to work and barely pay for it. You know, so your big why may be, you know, the drive to spend as much time as possible with your kids while still ultimately supporting your family. You know, being able to bring money home, but be there for your kids and provide that support you know, and not have daycare or, you know, raise them or someone else raising them or spending those hours with them all day. You know, if you are fresh out of school or you, you know, maybe even an entrepreneur, you may resist taking that same path that your parents did. Maybe you don't want to work for a corporation for 40 years and retire and find yourself still not able, being able to, you know, financially take care of yourself or either you work all these years and now you don't have the energy um, and the motivation to want to travel and all those different things, right? Instead, you dream of having an income and the time to see the world while you're still young enough to be able to enjoy it. Okay, so what is your why? You know, what is your big ultimate why? It may be the freedom to travel, the option to spend more time with your family, the ability to take a week off at a time and not, you know, feel guilty about it or either be able to have the, you know, maybe have to even go take care of a loved one, you know, a sick family member, or even, you know, go and support a charity that is close to your heart to be able to, you know, go and do a mission trip. Whatever your why is, that has got to be the driving force behind every single action that you take. When you are deciding um, whether or not to take on a new client, ask yourself, is it aligned with your why? When new opportunities come your way, you know, because they do, especially if you're on, online, you're presented with opportunities day after day. Your email is full with opportunity. 
Is it in alignment with who you are and what your why is, what your purpose is? So when you're setting your goals for this upcoming year, 2018, ask yourself if those goals are going to move you closer or further away from your big why. You know, think of branching out into a new business venture. Make sure it's in alignment with your big why and your success is suddenly much more attainable, right? Because you have this driving factor behind you. So do me a favor, comment below. Let me know what your ultimate why is. What is it? What is your driving force that gets you up every morning um, to get out here and grow your business? One of mine was definitely, um, I have several whys, and it may change over time and, you know, grow as you up level in your business. But for me, it became to, you know, be able to give my children, you know, what I could, um, wanted to be able to travel more as well. And the fact that I had struggled for so many years as an entrepreneur in my business, I refused to go another year and it not be possible, right? I wanted didn't want this to be some expensive hobby. I wanted to be able to impact other women's lives, you know, because I was I was struggling in my business. And to be able to reach back and help someone else to end that cycle, so where they're not, um, you know, flushing money down the toilet or, you know, spending their wheels constantly, you know, trying to grow this business, knowing that it's possible because they see other women and other successful, you know, coaches, you know, doing it and growing their business, I wanted to be able to help someone else, you know, reach their goals, be able to help them actually even awaken their goals. Because sometimes we stop dreaming as women, we stop dreaming, right? I mean, we put our dreams and our goals on the back burner and we take care of everyone else. So that was, you know, my why. That is what my driving force is. And when I think about getting tired or wanting to quit, I remember that, you know, and that stopped me from quitting. I might take a rest. I might take a break, a break when it's necessarily and it's needed. But you don't quit when you have a big why. So do me a favor. You know, I'm signing off. Again, this is Lakeisha Hankins from LakeishaHankins.com. Comment, share below what your ultimate why is. I want to know what your driving force that gets you up every morning and keeps you going. All right. Have a blessed day and I'll see you in the next video.